What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. Today I'd like to bring you a hunting guide and this is one of my favorite places to hunt in game. This entire circle is pretty much the area I hunt and this can net you anywhere from three to six hundred dollars per hour. So it is very good to make money from pelts and meat but it's also close to the butcher so you don't have to ride far after your hunting trip is over. One reason this is so good is because there are two cougar spawn locations here. I'm kind of showing you those locations here on the map now. But there's also a third one some people may not know about. But it is a little trickier to catch that third cougar out because it's mainly out at night time. Now the two spawn locations you see on each end, those are always set. Those cougars will be in the exact same location. That random night spawn that's show, kind of showing in the middle of the map with the arrow is usually around the G and the R in Great Plains. But that one's not a set location. You will see here in the video in a little bit, I catch this cougar out. He's just kind of sitting there. But sometimes I've gone by and he's knocked me off my horse. Sometimes I've been out there hunting and he's jumped on me. So that third one is a little bit tricky and a little bit dangerous. But like I said, that third cougar spawn is usually always at night. The other two cougar spawns are always set. So that is one reason this is a really good hunt. If you have two horses, you can get two perfect cougar carcasses. I'll, you can throw both of those carcasses on one on each horse and you will make $13.50 per carcass. Now, if you're looking for another horse, there's lots of other horses on the road. You also can steal one that's usually always hitched at Manzanita Post. Now, if you're going to go out here and hunt or anywhere that you want to hunt, you always need a bolt action rifle for the larger animals, a varmint rifle for birds and rabbits and things of that nature, and a bow with small game arrows for anything that is real small like a squirrel or anything you know that it, that a varmint rifle will harm the pelt on also in this area you're going to be able to find things like deer bison rabbits deer pronghorn uh cougars bear i said deer twice excuse me but there is so many things here that is the reason that i like to hunt in this location another reason is because it is wide open this is that third cougar spawn location you're going to kind of see him just sitting out here i've rode by this road many times and gotten jumped by him but like I said, it is usually at night. So if you're looking for that third cougar, this is the place you want to find him. Right above the G and R in Great Plains. But like I said, the reason I like hunting here is because of the just the way that it is wide open. Until you get into tall trees, you can see anything with your eagle vision on pretty much anywhere on the map. If there's multiple deer out, you can kill multiple deer without having to track the others after you kill one. You can kill multiple things and always have a good view of what's going on, a good view of the cougars. So everything that you hunt in this area can be uh, hunted, killed, cleaned very quickly and very efficiently. That is why I like to hunt in this area. Now, if you have another area that you prefer to hunt in, I would always set up uh, set up a good strategy. You know, start at point A to point B, back to sale, or just make a loop. Whatever works the best for you. Usually when I'm not just filming something to show you guys or you know, recording it, this, uh, this trip, like I said, took me about 30 minutes from one end to the other. What I normally do is go in here to this area, hunt for about an hour, and then go back. And like I said at the start of the video, I will usually net between three and $600, which is not bad at all. Another tip if you're going to hunt cougars is if the cougar you find is not a three-star pelt or a three-star cougar, what you want to do is ride back 100 or 200 yards and then come back to that location. As you're going to see here, this is a level one cougar when I find him out here laying down. Of course, this is the top spot up by the windmill. This is one of the set spawns and it is a one star. I'm looking for something more than a one star. So what I'm going to do is ride away and then come back. Sometimes it might be two. I got lucky it was three. If it is two, just go back again the same, the same way you went, come back and it should be three. It will always change if you ride away. So keep that in mind if you're looking for three star cougars instead of just something like a one or two. And this will work with other animals, but it works the best with cougars, in my opinion, because some other animals seem to move more than these cougars do that are in a set location as long as you have not spooked them and they've got up to start chasing you or run away or whatever the case may be. Now, this will work, guys, in single player as well as online mode. Of course, all this footage you're seeing here is in online mode. The only difference is in single player, these cougar spawns are not quite the same. A lot of times I've played solo around this area in single player mode. And these cougars are, are kind of roaming instead of sitting. So keep that in mind. But either way, if you want to make money in, in, in online mode or if you want to make money in the single player and also get the achievements for the different pelts for 
you know, for making clothes or whatever, this is a good place to do it because of all the animals that is in this small area. This is not a very big area. You can ride from here at, at the uh, uh, windmill to tall trees very quickly. And when you go across this big open area, like I said, there's animals everywhere. What you're seeing me sell here was about a 30 minute hunting trip. So a pretty good trip. Like I said, just kind of keep in mind the things that you're going to get here, of course, cougar carcasses for perfect cougar carcasses. You're looking at $13.50 a piece. The pelts for perfect ones are around five bucks a piece. Uh, buck pelts are around three twenty five. dollars There's tons of bucks in this area. The antlers are around a dollar and five cents a piece. So you'll get a lot of antlers and a lot of buck pelts in this area. The meat around a dollar eighty a piece. Uh, just a regular deer pelt, two twenty five. Of course, pronghorns around two dollars. There's a lot of grizzly bears and tall trees. You're looking around seven bucks for that pelt. Of course, a good bit off that big game meat. And also, the, there's a lot of bison which are slow. You can kill multiple bison quickly, and get the beef from the bison and sell the bison meat very well. The bison skin is only like five bucks, but the meat sells well. So. You're not just going for skins and carcasses. You're also going for the meat, the antlers. And like I said, you will make a good bit of money here. I hope this guide helped you out, guys. This is a good place to hunt. Try it out for yourself. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.